Hey y'all and welcome to my channel. I was recently able to travel to LA to visit my sister Charlie from The Stitchery and uh, we were able to hit up several different fabric shops. Um, one being Remainders in Pasadena. Um, Remainders is a crafting thrift store and uh, they have everything you could imagine from fabric and trim to paper and crayons and scissors. Um, it was raining really bad that day so it was really nice to go inside and look around. Um, I uh, it was kind of a little bit overwhelming, but lots of really good deals, remnant bins and everything. And uh, we had a lot of uh, fun going through everything and, and picking out some, some goodies. A um, couple days later, we headed to the fashion district in downtown LA. Also so overwhelming and uh, you really need a full day to walk through it see all the different fabrics uh, there was so much to choose from and a lot of um, special occasion um, embellished fabrics uh, stores that were nothing but trim um, it was just incredible and we also went into um, michael levine uh, store down there in uh, in la which as you can see is just chocked full of every kind of fabric that uh, you can imagine. So I thought I did really good with what I purchased. Um, at Remainders, I was able to get these zippers here. They were five for a dollar and I really liked the the pull on them so I'm sure they will work really well on some little bags or purses or something. They also had these fat quarter bundle, bundles for six dollars or two for ten. Um, they were really good quality, um, like quilt shop type fabrics, and um, really well put together. They had tons of them, and uh, I showed restraint and only got two, um, but those are going to be fun to make some quilts or bags or something. I also got um, several different laces. Um, they sell their laces um, based on how wide they are, and... Um, these were basically one and two dollars a yard. Um, some really nice laces uh, that I knew would be pretty expensive if I went to just my local fabric store and bought them. Um, nice little cotton print here. I'll probably use in a quilt or purse lining. Um, I found this fabric here. I think it was two dollars a yard. It's like a really uh, kind of a heavier gauze material. Um, so I'm planning on probably making something for summer. And then um, bought a lot of things in the remnant bins. And some of these remnants are several yards long. Um, some of them have some pieces cut out of them or something, but um, I found this really pretty black lace. And uh, this fabric here that has uh, the graduating widths of ruffles on it, might make a cute skirt. This really pretty lace here uh, was also in the remnant bin. It's got a big chunk cut out of it but um, there's enough there that I could definitely salvage um, and make something. This beautiful leopard print knit there's um, over two yards of it um, in this uh, remnant so um, I've already got some ideas to use for that and then uh, this fabric here which is really pretty um, it's like a cotton that's got um, this braid sewn all over it I know this would have been super expensive had I bought it in a in a fabric store. So I thought I did really well at Remainders. I could have gone wild, um, but um, have a plan for everything, so that's good. We also hit up um, the Rose Bowl flea market while we were there, and um, I was able to get a few items like this very old book. Um, I love um, old books, um, anything pretty much 1950s and older. Um, I have some from, uh, you know, in other languages from other countries, but that was the book was only $3. And then I also got this really pretty um, tin. It's kind of a reproduction. It's not an actual uh, vintage tin. It's a reproduction. And I paid $10 for it, which was probably a little much, but I really liked the colors. And then I found this glass bowl for a dollar. Um, I'll be doing a YouTube video later on on how I'm going to be using that glass bowl. Um, but I'll also show at the end how I styled these items. 
Now, when we went down to the fashion district in LA, um, I picked up these really cute appliques. They were like $3 a piece. Thought they might be cute on a t-shirt. And then these really pretty rose appliques. I love roses. Um, and then I found this lace that seemed like it really went with it. It was only a couple bucks a yard. So um, I'm gonna have fun figuring out something to do with that. I also got this really pretty off-white mesh um, at Michael Levine, which um, I've got plans for. And um, this really pretty black, almost a uh, placé type fabric that I think will be really pretty in a sundress. And then uh, walking down the street, um, they had this fabric out in front of the shop um, for $1.99 a yard. And uh, so I just bought everything that was left on the rolls, couple yards each. So um, I thought that would be really cool. And then while we were down there, we headed um, north to the last bookstore, um, which is an incredible um, bookstore that has uh, reused books. And I found a couple um, really old books um, that I love and uh, thought they would go really well um, in my house and styled in different ways. So if you ever you know, go to LA or live there, um, check out these places. Um, I hope to you know, go again and um, do some more exploring in these areas. Um, but this is how I kind of styled the books and um, the tin for um, my plants and I thought it turned out really cool. As I said, the glass bowl, I'll be doing a video um, on how I'm going to uh, DIY something with that bowl. And then also just watch for future videos on things that I make with the fabric and stuff that I got in 